Welcome to my review of the Tranya M10. Hey, the Tranya M10 aren't just a bass bud. They are the bass bud. If anyone tells you that these M10s can't hang with the best bass buds on the planet, they're just plain wrong. Why? 14.2 millimeter drivers. That is literally 8.1 millimeters larger than the fan favorite Phil T1XS drivers. Yeah. The drivers inside the M10s are more than twice the size of mere mortal earbuds. But wait, there's more. The M10s aren't just all tight, layered, punchy, deep bass tuned by experts at Dolby Laboratories and Tranya. The mids and highs are sweetly detailed. But there's more. They're also switchable between bass mode and normal mode via the physical button controls, and both modes sound great. In normal mode, the bass is still punchy, but it's noticeably reduced and the vocals and the highs are bumped up. It's really nice for listening to more vocally bass tracks rather than bass tracks, and it can give you a break from that heavier b -b 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 bass mode should you need it. You know, if you've heard comments about, oh, XYZ buds, ABC, whatever buds have too much bass, you won't get that with the M10s because you can switch that mode easily with a <clears throat> tap, 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 tap on either of those physical controls to switch to normal mode. Yeah, now if you wanna just kick back and enjoy overall great sound, put these earbuds on your list. You will love switching from that bass mode and back to the normal mode for your favorite vocal tracks with a simple <clears throat> tap, 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 tap on the physical control buttons. These are a little bit of a bigger earbud, but I like how Tranya designed them with a kind of a two-phase shape so that the earbuds still fit comfortably in my ears, even if they do protrude out a little bit. They're actually a little bit reminiscent of the Sony XM700s, however they are far, far, far tinier than the Sony XM700s, but the shape does remind me a little bit of those things, and even the button controls are pretty similar, but these Tranya M10s are less than half the price, and the bass is arguably better. Now here's the rest of what I love about the Tranya M10s. Watching movies is great with both Aptax and AAC for high definition audio support. They have super long battery life at 10 hours per charge and 80 hours using the case. Plus they have a rapid charge where 10 minutes will give you an hour of play time. And pairing and connectivity are simple, straightforward and reliable with my Pixel XL. They are dual mono mode they have USB-C plus wireless charging and the rapid charging that I talked about earlier. The earbuds have one physical control button on each earbud and they work really well. Plus they include commands for play, pause, forward, reverse, volume up, down, triple tap to activate the voice assistant. And of course that five times tap to switch between bass mode and regular mode. Now the M10s also have four CVC-8 noise canceling mics. And here's a quick sample of those mics on an outdoor busy street. This is a microphone test of the Tranya M10, true wireless earbuds. Tranya put four CVC-8 noise-canceling mics into the M10, and I wanted to give them a shot to see how they work with a little bit of traffic noise in the background. Here's where I think the M10 rank in my mic series playlist. Let me know if you think I rank the M10 microphone quality correctly, or how I should adjust them in the video comments. So in my opinion, the mics work really well on these. They work well enough from a quiet office. They pick up my voice really well. And they actually pick up my voice really well over background noise, but they don't seem to suppress the background noise very much on that outside street test. The latency measurements on these earbuds came in at about 500 milliseconds with Aptex on and over 500 milliseconds with Aptex off. That's not earth shattering, but like I said, they don't lag when I watch movies but they do lag when playing video games, so I don't recommend these earbuds for gamers. Now, the, I said that that Bluetooth range was simple and reliable to connect, but this Bluetooth range is actually pretty solid at 75 feet as I measured it, which is longer than, let's say, the Tranya T10s, which I'll talk about more in a little bit in a sound comparison. And the volume on these is ridiculously loud. I measured it out at 106 decibels with my old school sound meter, which you can see here in the background. And if I were to compare these to the Tranya T10s, another large driver earbud from Tranya, the M10's mid-range sounds much more natural and the bass has a lot more body to it. Now the M10s sound, I think, more familiar to me right at first glance when I start using them, whereas the T10s take a little bit of getting used to. 
Plus, with the M10s, you'll get better battery life, you'll get never fail physical button controls, you get better Bluetooth range, and the M10s are also considerably louder than those T10s. So yes, I recommend these M10s for just music listening, chilling out, and anyone who wants to experience one of the best bass true wireless earbuds for only about 50 bucks. Now who should not buy these earbuds? Gamers, workout junkies, need not apply. Thanks for watching my quick review of the Tranya M10. Stay safe everyone, so zen out.